Hope you're here. How are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Today is um, Tuesday, the 15th of September. We are going to go to finish, to um, finish unit 12. Yes, we are going to check the exam Micey Meiser, pages 74, yes, pages 75 and 76, yes, and then Quadernillo from uh, pages 27 and 28. Remember, you have to hand in composition number 10 today. Yes, we're going to revise reported speech, reporting verbs, this five plus ing, plus noun, plus the fact that. Although, however, those linkers, we are going to work on pages 128, 29, and 30. Uh, remember, you have to read the grammar reference and highlight page 159. As homework, you are going to do pages uh, 76 and 77. The exercises, the remaining exercises from the exam Isimaisa, you have to write the exercise, writing on exercise 2 from page 77, exam Isimaisa, schools should timetable more science lessons. Do you agree? Mass words, despite plus ing, although, however, then composition number 11 and pages 29 and 30 from the quadernillo, okay? So shall we go? So first of all, we are going to go to, um, and of course, there is a note there that says that the next class, the 17th, um, the first, on Thursday, the 17th of September, you are going to have the revision on unit 10, 11, and 12, the last revision, yes? And then I will tell you how we are going to organize, yes, okay? Is it clear? Right, shall we go to the exam Maisimaisa? Yes, okay, 74. Yes, exercise one from the use of English. Is it clear? So there we are. So, number one, came up. Number two, keep up with. Number three, gave away. Number four, going on about. Number five, fell through. And number six came across. Is it clear? Right? So, number two. Yes, all right. There we are. Number one. You have the word away. Yes, and you have to say the same thing in another sentence using that word. So you have to be, uh, focus on what grammar or what phrasal verb, yes, you can use. Is it clear? Right. Number one. Jane. In this case, it is a phrase other. Gave away my secret. Yes, to tell others a secret. Spread the secret. Yes. Number two, you have harder. So if you have harder, it means that you have to uh, be careful and you have to be conscious on the grammar. What grammar? Comparative, for example. If I had worked harder, and uh, it's comparative, inside a conditional sentence. Is it clear? Right. If I had work harder, yes, and what condition is that? If past perfect would have the third column, past participle, is conditional number three. Is it clear? Number three. Uh, well, Steve keeps going on about our new history teacher. Yes, Steve's Keeps going, keeps, porque está present simple, keeps going on about our new history teacher. But I think he's okay. Number four. Uh, I try to keep up with everyone in the running team, but I just can't. Yes, ponerse al día con algo o ponerse a la par con los otros. En este caso, con eh, los otros eh, chicos que están corriendo. Mm -hmm. Scientists, okay. Scientists, scientists. Found, will have found a cure for cancer before too long. Will have found. Press a uh, future perfect, okay? Will have found. Number six. Carla refused to come with me to the party because she was too tired. Yes, is it clear? So that was page 76. So let's go to page that's all. Yes, okay? Good. Vocabulary one and two. Yes, okay. Uh, it's 76. Yes, one and two. One F 
two E, three H, four B, five C, six A, seven D, eight G. All right? Those are specific words from vocabulary, so they must be from in the cuaderno de vocabulario de la A a la Z. Yes? One. Yes? Well, that's all. Two. One. Made. An important discovery. Two. Analyzed the results. Three. Came up with an excellent idea. Four. Conduct. Four. Conduct. An experiment. Number five. Take. Take an x-ray. Number six. Reached. Reached the conclusion. Reached the conclusion. Number seven. Done. Yes, okay. Enough research, okay? Do research, okay? In this case, done, yes, okay? Because it's hoping to, uh, wait, have done, present perfect, okay? Uh, develop, yes, okay? Develop, okay? Siempre develop con, vamos, yes, okay? Right. Bueno, no, anything else from here? So let's go to cuadernillos, page, cuadernillo, page 27 and 28. Okay, there we are. Right, right, right. Go. Wait a minute. I'm going to put in all of these parts. Good. Number two. The, um, I'm on page 27. Use two. Three. Could. Four. Because. Five. If. Six. Have. Seven. Can. Eight. Could. Uh, nine. Able. Yes. Okay. Page 28. Are you there? Right. <laughs> Two, comfortable. Three, conveniences. Four, life. Five, biggest. Six, writing. Seven, time. Eight, fortunately. Nine, positive. Ten, exp experience. Uh, Eleven, talking. Yes, that was all from the cuadernillo. Bye bye, cuadernillo. So let's go very quickly now to page 128. Yes, okay. So, uh, we have the grammar reference on page 159. I want you to go there. And you have 59 there. Okay. Well, so you have uh, the reporting verbs there. Ask. Yes, okay. I will go there. And the linkers, although, however, you already know them, but you will also highlight them. Yes, okay? So, there we are. He asked, asked if I liked fish. Yes. He asked if I could go with him. Yes. To, bear plus to infinite, infinitive, offer to carry. Refused to go. Three. Reminded me to bring. She remind me, reminded me to go. Invited me to stay. Yes? It's, he warned me to go out. Yes? Okay? Verb plus noun. Accept. I accepted the present. I accepted the invitation. He apologized for. Apologize for plus ing. Vos ya sabes que después de una preposición, el verbo va a ir con ing. Perfecto. Well done. Ok. Uh, he criticized me for finishing late. He critis she criticized, criticized me for not going to her party. Then, verb plus that plus object infinitive without to. He suggested that I take the boat. He suggested that I go to her party. Is it clear? Right. And then you have although, even though 
despite in spite of. Although and even though she had a bad cold, she still she still went to the party. Although I was sick, I went to school. Despite or in spite of. Acuérdate que íbamos a tener. Despite o in spite of más el verbo con ing. Despite not being healthy. Yes. Despite not despite being sick, she went to school. Despite having a lot of money. Yes, okay. Despite and in spite of. Okay, ahí tenemos in spite of, despite of. Yes, and in spite of, es lo mismo, eh, a pesar, ¿ok? Entonces vamos a tener despite, yes, plus ing, and despite, plus a noun, yes, despite being sick, I went to school, despite being sick, I went to the classes, Despite the bad weather, yes, I went to the city center. Ok, entonces tenemos despite más un ing, despite más un noun. Y in spite of también sigue la misma línea. In spite of not being well, I went to her party. This in spite of, yes, in spite of plus noun, in spite of the bad weather, I went to school, yes, in spite of not being well, I stay at her party, yes, okay, stay with her, is it clear? Entonces, eso te tiene que quedar claro. Y después tenés, despite the fact that, despite the fact that she was uh, sick, she went to school, yes, a pesar, okay, está claro? Uh, well, then, however... Yes, okay. You have the use there. There is a parking available. However, it can be very crowded after six. Yes, okay. Um, I ate his food. However, I didn't like fish. Is it clear? Yes, okay. Well, I think you all know this, uh, the meanings of this. Yes, but read it, highlight it, and we go now. To page 128. Is it clear? Lo único que eh, tenéis que tener en claro es el despite. Yes? Despite con ing y con un sustantivo. Despite the weather, despite the bad weather, que estamos usando una construcción. Yes, a noun. Yes, ok. Despite not being sick, despite reading all the book, I didn't understand the idea. Yes, ok, of the writer. Is it clear? Right. Well, so, uh, read the online article about an IG novel award uh, ceremony and check your ideas. Yes, okay? So, we are going to go there. We are going to do it. Yes, exercises two, three, yes, and five. Is it clear? All right, there we go. 128. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then... Listen to the answers, okay? Good. So, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, wait a minute. Did you highlight the verbs? Okay, asked, invited me, offered to, accepted, warned, suggested, apologized for not attending, I apologize for not going to your party. Refuse to criticize, reminded my friend. Yes, okay? Good. Number three. Yes. J asked. Number two. A invited. Number three. I offered. Number four. G accepted. Number five. D, warn. Number six, B, suggested. Number seven, E, apologized. Number eight, H, refused. Number nine, F, criticized. And number ten, C, reminded. Yes, okay? Four, one, ask. 
to offer and refuse. Invite, warn, remind. Exercise three. Four, estoy en el tres, eh? Okay. Four, accepts. One verb followed by a noun. Accept the invitation, for example. Apologize and criticize. Two verbs by, followed by ing. He apologized for not going. He criticized me for spending a lot, long hours with my boyfriend. Suggest, one verb followed by that. He suggested me that, okay, is it clear? All right. Wait a minute. Suggested that I take notes on the evening. He suggested that I um, should uh, go to your party. Yes, okay. He suggested that I go with you. He suggested that I finish the letter now. Is it clear? Right. Good. Exercise five. Suggested that. Two. Invited me for a meal. Three. Criticized. Four. Apologized. Five. Refused. Six. Offered to buy. Yes. Es importante que te estudies los verbos. Sí. ¿Con qué va seguido cada uno? Porque parecen fáciles, pero después a la hora de completar se hace difícil. ¿Ok? Well, so, um, do you think, um, say, imagine your school has been given some money to spend on someone, something related to science and technology. What it should, what it should spend the money on? Yes, okay. Laptops, yes, new science laboratory, trip to uh, Arctic and Antarctic for a group of top science students, school farm, film and recording studio, a series of lecture, lectures from visiting top scientists, okay. And then I want you to think about it and I want you to highlight, yes, I agree, I agree with you, I totally, comp I totally agree with you. You are absolutely right. I couldn't agree more with you. Uh, partly agree. I didn't say that. I agree, uh, I agree up to the point. Yes, okay. I disagree with you. I completely, totally disagree with you. I'm afraid I don't agree. I don't agree at all. Yes, okay. Highlight, please, all of them. Okay, is it clear? So, in which place would you prefer to learn about science? Yes, outside, out, outdoors, or in a laboratory. So I want you to describe the picture and I want you to say at home, in which place would you, do you think you would learn more? In a laboratory or outside? Yes, okay, outdoor, okay, right. So we have already talked about the qualities and skills a science, a, science, a good science teacher needs. Yes, okay. Last class, uh, when we talk about um, the place um, that students go, yes, so um, it was there, yes, okay. Um, I think uh, the capacity, yes, of analyze, the capacity of um, explain his or her students uh, the capacity of motivate students because I think a teacher must um, motivate, must uh, encourage their students, yes, uh, to make the effort to learn day by day, yes, a bit more, yes, okay. Um, what else? Uh, well, that's all, yes. Yeah? So I think those are the qualities a good teacher a science teacher need, yes, okay, um, well, shall we go to page 130, yes, okay, good, 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 wait a minute, yes, okay, I, I'm checking, if, if I forgot to say to you something, 
Wait a minute. Yes, yes, yes. Inspire, also inspire students, inspire their students, okay? Well, so I'm going to show you, yes, I'm going to show you some, um, some people. And you will tell me if you know these people. And at home, you will talk about these people, okay? Is it clear? Wait a minute. Right, there you are. I'm sure you all know these people, yes, okay. These, they are very, very important people. And I want you to tell me, what do you think they have in common? Okay, who's this? So this is Albert Einstein, yes, okay? I'm sure you all know him. Okay, so I want you to talk about him at home, okay, about his inventions, yes? And now, when I finish, yes, because I will show you some of them, yes, okay, uh, you all will tell me what do they have in common, yes? Is it clear? Okay. Mary Curie, yes, okay, she was very, 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 very intelligent, okay, good, so what do they have, um, Frank, uh, Francis Arnold, George Smith, Sir Gregory Winter, yes, and uh, Nelson Mandela, yes, Mary Curie, Nelson Mandela, Albert Einstein, yes, okay. So they all won a prize, a Nobel Prize, yes, okay, a Nobel Prize, not only in physics, physics in this case, but also uh, the Nobel Prize de la Paz, okay, the Peace Nobel Prize that was won by Nelson Mandela, okay, but the thing they have in common is that they all won, yes, uh, some of them are scientists, yes, and some others no, yes, okay, but the, the thing they have in common is that they all won the Nobel Prize, okay, so I want you to choose one and say why you choose uh, this person, okay, they are all very important to our society and to our world, Yes, is it clear? Right. So, I want you to go there. Yes, okay. It says you have had a, a class discussion about scientists, uh, scientific research. Your teacher has asked you to write an essay. Well, that's all. No, don't do that, okay? So, it says, uh, read the answer and check if your ideas are mentioned. Yes, complete the phrases in the essay with the words in the box. So, you are going to complete... Yes, this text in exercise two with the right with the words from exercise three. Is it clear? Right. Okay. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Is it clear? Right. Two. Yes. Okay. 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 Three, controversial, views, favor, say, believe, conclusion, point, words. Yes, and then you're going to go to exercise five. 
You are going to choose the correct alternative to complete the sentences according to um, the uh, grammar that you have on page. We have already read it and highlighted it. Yes, okay, it was on page 159. Is it clear? Um, well, so let's go there. Exercise five. However, although three, despite, five, in spite, spite, in spite of, yes, okay, number five. Well, there is only four there, okay? Number one, however, number two, although, number three, despite, Number three, despite. Number four, in spite of. Yes, okay. Is it clear? In spite of plus ing. Okay. Well, so um, I want you to go very quickly to uh, um, page 77. Yes, 77. And this is the um, writing you are going to write. It says, write your own. Um, it says, you have recently had a discussion about science in schools. Now, your teacher has asked you to write. Schools should timetable more science lessons. Do you agree? Okay. So, things to write about. Interests, careers, your own idea. 150 words. Quedamos en 150 palabras. Okay? Is it clear? Right, and we're going to go before going, yes, before finishing, yes, okay, you are going to go to uh, writing reference, writing reference, page, uh -huh. 164, 164, hello, Okay, and you are going to revise again how to write an essay, yes, okay? Is it clear? Okay, you have the words there, yes, okay? And then you have, do refer to the statement by trying to rephrase it, rephrase it. use appropriate semi-formal style, add details to support your ideas, do use formal linkers devices, okay? In addition, okay? Is it clear? Tenés el modelo A y el modelo B. Y tenés todas las, um, firstly, secondly, yes, giving opinions. Some people think that. For me, personally, uh, this is because the reason for this is, yes, for instance, for example, yes, although, however, Yes, is it clear? Despite, despite the fact that, okay? Well, um, composition number 10, composition number 11, perdón, 11, sorry. Composition number 11, 11, a ver de qué se trata la 11, letter to, uh, of apology, between 120 and 180. You have promised... Ahora, te puede tener entre 120 y 180, 120 o 150, pero no más de eso. ¿Sí? Si, o a partir de 120 ya está bien. You have promised your boss that you will work some extra hours next weekend. Due to a family problem, you will be unable to fulfill your promise. So you have to write an apology, a letter of apology, to your boss explaining the reasons why you are not going to uh, go to do these extra hours and promise him to make it up. Is it clear? Yes, okay, so understand that you have to write a letter because you have promised, you have um, promised your boss to go and work extra hours. But then you have a problem, a uh, familiar problem, okay, family problem, so you can go. So you have to write a letter of apology, yes, you have to apologize, and you have to say that you will make it up. Is it clear? All right. So, you have the mass words there, all right, yes, highlight the, the mass words, please, okay? Mwah. See you next class, do homework, do everything, yes, okay, and then the uh, reading 
on pages 29 and 30 for the, exa uh, the choir major, okay? Bye-bye, have a nice afternoon. See you next class.